everyone, this is Susie. So I guess this is going to be part two of my very long vegan story. So some of the things that I did mention in the first video was the health benefits that I have received after changing my diet. And one of them is that, like I told you, I told you about the constipation, I was always constipated. I always say that I was born constipated because my mom tells me all these stories of how when I was a baby, like I was constipated. I was always constipated and I would cry and because I couldn't go to the bathroom and stuff. So that happened, you know, throughout my life until I changed my diet. The other thing is that I was always bloated. I was always bloated. No matter what I ate, it didn't matter. I was always bloated. Um, the other thing, so that went away. So after changing my diet, I noticed that I wasn't getting bloated any, anymore. I didn't feel like this every time I ate something. That I wasn't constipated anymore. And the other thing that I, that I noticed is that I wasn't getting any more yeast infections. I would get a lot of yeast infections. And that's nothing, you know, it's not very fun. It's not very fun to have yeast infections. So those went away. And I'm very grateful for that. The other thing is that I did lose about 20 pounds. My husband lost about 50 pounds. The other thing is that I noticed that I was no longer getting urinary tract infections. I have been having those since like I was 18 or 19 years old. And if you've ever had uh, urinary tract infections, you know how horrible, horrible that is. And I would spend so many sleepless nights in pain, not knowing what to do, you know. It was just like so, it's like such a horrible, horrible pain. And after I went absolutely vegan, those disappeared. If for some reason, I, you know, I feel like, oh, something's going on. And I start feeling any type of discomfort. I know that it's because I'm not drinking enough water. So as soon as I start drinking more water, that just goes away. So and bef I know that before it wasn't because I wasn't drinking enough water because I would drink gallons of water and it still wouldn't go away. The pain wouldn't go away. So after I went from a after I went vegetarian, um, I was still getting the I was still getting the urinary tract infections. And I would also have to always call my doctor, you know, I have another infection, can you just please, like, I would just call him, I wouldn't even go to the, his clinic, he would just, like, send the prescription to Walgreens and I would go pick it up, because he already knew what I had, so I would just take the medication and it would, you know, get rid of it for a little bit and then I would have it again, until one day I just got tired and I said, I'm not going to do this anymore. So when I changed my diet, I decided that I was going to look for a better, you know, a more, you know, holistic alternative. So I started taking care of it with like teas and homemade remedies and things like that. And it did help a little bit, you know, it would help, help alleviate the pain, but it still, I would still get them constantly. I was getting urinary tract infections all the time. And... So after I went vegan, those just like disappeared and I was like, oh my goodness, all these years, all these years of pain and suffering without any need if there was like the solution right there in front of me. But anyway, so that was one of the other things that I've noticed me personally and that I am forever grateful uh, for that. The other thing is that I've noticed the past several months, I haven't been getting any cramps when I get my period. Before, up to, you know, I'm 43 right now, so up to, I'm gonna say maybe several months. It didn't happen right away after I went vegan, but several months I started noticing that, oh, I'm not, I'm getting my period and I don't get any cramps anymore. Before that, every, the first day of my period, I would be completely out. Like, I would be in bed, I would have to take you know, aspirins or mitol or whatever, because, or Tylenol, whatever it was to take away the pain. And even then I would still be in bed because I would just be completely out that first day. The second day on, it was okay, but always that first day it was, it was horrible. So now my period comes and goes and I'm like, oh, I don't have to take pills. I don't have to be in bed all day long. This is amazing. So that is amazing. You know, that is just amazing. So I'm very grateful for that very very grateful for that so the other thing is that I do have more energy 
before I used to have like I used to take a nap every day you know because if not I just couldn't function I was always tired I was always tired um, so that is something that also has changed I've noticed a lot of change in that like I don't take if I, I might take a nap once in a while but not like I used to it was like it had to be every day because I was so tired so that is something that has I've noticed a big difference I've also started exercising more so I know that that's helping and then the other thing that I was going to tell you is about my husband I didn't mention this in the first video I forgot was that when my husband when I showed my husband those two videos that I mentioned to you from farm to fridge and the Gary Yarovsky video that night because I showed them to him one evening that night he said okay whatever you eat from now on whatever you cook that's what I'm gonna eat at that time I was a raw vegan because I you know I told you that I had been a raw vegan first until I saw those videos and then I you know started seeing okay this is you know I have to do this for the animals now not just for me so when I showed them the video he said okay so from now on we're gonna do I'm gonna do the, the vegan diet so that's when I decided to go back to eating cooked food I didn't stop the raw food diet because I thought there was something wrong with it or anything like that it was just because I made that compromise. I said, okay, if you go vegan, then I'll go back to eating cooked foods. That way I'm only cooking one meal and I'm not doing two again, like I used to. So that way I, I decided to do that. However, I still believe that the you know raw vegan, if you eat as much raw vegan as you can, if you do it you know in a smart way, I think that that is the best. Um, so I try to incorporate as much raw vegan foods as I can. So I try to have my green juices, my smoothies, um, salads. I make my own dressings I don't, so that I don't have to be purchasing, you know, something that's very heavy. So I try to make them as raw as I can. And then after that, I'll have cooked, you know, I'll have my cooked food. So, um, so my husband, yeah, so that's what happened with my husband. He lost 50 pounds. And now I'm going to show you guys some pictures. With me, I feel like you can't really see the difference because my face has always been chubby, even when I was a little girl. So, but with my husband, you'll really see some pictures and also with my mom. My mom had a stroke about seven, eight years ago. She was not a vegan at all. Um, after she had her stroke and she recovered, thankfully, um, she changed her diet to a mostly vegan diet. It took away, you know, the red meats, the chicken, um, the dairy things like that so she, when she came over I showed her one of the videos as well the you know the slaughterhouse videos and stuff like that so that she would at least you know make a bigger effort to eat as conscious as she could and that is what she's doing and she's lost a lot of weight as well after her stroke so I want to show you guys some pictures that you can see okay so um, the first one I'm going to show you is this one that's me right there you can see my chubby face and that one right there is my husband. You see our chubby faces? Okay. So, that's my husband with his two daughters. That was several years ago, but you can see, you know, he's pretty big. He's a pretty big guy. And here's another one of us. You can see him. And that's another one. That's my, my mom and me and my husband. It's pretty big. Okay, so now this is a more recent one of us. Let's say. So you can see the difference. Oh my goodness, what a big difference. I think there's a big difference right there. Can you see it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So my mom, here's my mom. That's right there, and that's me, and that's my little brother. And that's my mom again. Oops. And that's my mom and me right there. And now I'm going to show you. This is my mom now. You can see the difference. And that's her in Paris. She went there for her birthday last year. I just want to see if you can see the difference of her, her face. That's my mom. 
and this is one of my ah hold on okay so this one was last year my mom and my husband so he had been vegan for a year so he's been vegan for it'll be two years next month um, I've been vegan for over three years now and the other thing that I forgot to mention was that about my health benefits that I've noticed is that I don't get as many colds as I used to. I used to get colds and flus. Oh my goodness. Like at least, I always said that every time there was this, you know, like the new season, I would get a cold. <laughs> if it was like if summer came in, I got a cold. If, you know, fall came in, I got a cold. Like I was always getting colds. I always had a cold. So after that I, you know, after I changed my diet, like I said, I don't get colds anymore. Like if I do, you know, it's like, oh, just a little bit, nothing compared to what it used to be. It was like, I used to be in bed for days, you know, days, and it would last for weeks. Um, and now uh, that doesn't happen to me anymore. So I'm so grateful for that too. So I can't say enough. I can't say enough. You know, I wish that... The only way for you to receive those benefits, and even if you feel like, oh, well, you know, I have pretty good health, I still think that you'll receive benefits from going vegan. Because it's not just for people that are ill, it's for everybody, whether it's spiritual benefits, whether it's physical benefits, whether it's, you know, emotional. Like, I've noticed that I used to suffer from depression. Like, I used to spend days, weeks depressed. And now I don't, you know, I still have, you know, problems and stuff, but now I just feel so, I feel so grateful. I feel like this is what I was looking for. And even though it's challenging and even though it's, you know, difficult sometimes, and even though you wish that everybody could be a vegan, I think every vegan wishes that he could do something, he could do more so that everybody would become a vegan because there's just so many good things that come from it. Um, so even if you are healthy and strong, I still think that you'll receive benefits from that. So the only way for you to know is to experience it. It's like if I'm in a pool, I can express to you how joyful it is to be inside of a pool, but until you get into that pool with me, you won't know what it's like. So that's, I guess, the best analogy that I can that I can share with you. You, I can't, I can explain to you what it feels, what the water feels like, and the freshness and the coolness and the fun and the experience that it is. But until you get into that pool, you know, with me, you won't know. You won't know what that is that I'm trying to express to you, or that every vegan is trying to express to you in one way, shape, or form. So if my videos in any way inspire you, or you know, try to motivate you to go in that direction. Try it for yourself, you know, and if for some reason you say, you know what, this didn't work for me, at least you tried, you know, then if you didn't ever try. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending this time with me, and I hope that you got something good out of it. So I appreciate you. Um, I thank you for all your wonderful feedback that you always give to me. That really inspires me and motivates me to keep going. And I hope to talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Have a great day. Bye.